one of the coolest things about FSR 2.0 is that it supports pretty much any GPU, or at least any relatively modern GPU, but how well newer GPUs accelerate it better, meaning they're better able to process the algorithm and they can get a larger percentage gain by using it. The GTX 1060 is actually below AMD's recommended GPU use case, even for FSR 2.0 at 1080p. So naturally in this video, we're gonna torture test it at 1440p and 1080p and see how it does. Does it gain much performance? And what is the image quality at 1440p and 1080p? Is it worth using? Let's dive right in. I'll give you some final thoughts at the end. Uh, let's take a look at the initial graphic settings we're running here. We're at the original graphics settings. So that would be the same as the game initially launched on PS4. And then with the display settings, currently I do not have FSR 2.0 turned on. And we're trying to run the game at 1440p. And I have a feeling we're not even going to maintain 30 FPS at these settings, but let's go ahead and test it out, see what happens. So there's the native image quality, and this is not one of the more demanding scenes in the game, but I thought it, we'd get an idea here of do we even get a benefit of jumping in to FSR 2.0? So let's go ahead and kick that onto the quality setting. And we jumped from, wow, we were at 35 FPS, weren't we? And now it jumped up to 47 FPS. So that's actually quite a jump. Let's go ahead and play around with this for a little bit and see how it goes. Overall, the image quality still looks quite sharp. And, well, I've got to say that even if we can't, you know, lock 60 FPS, I think that there's a huge difference in the frame times and the overall responsiveness between 30 FPS and being in the mid-40 FPS range, um, especially if you have a variable refresh rate display that could take advantage of that. Okay, so we're around 45 FPS there. I do want to go ahead and try out seeing if going down to the Balanced setting does even more for us. Okay, it looked like we jumped a bit more up into the 50s. Now, this scene is it has slow movement. I do feel like his beard looks a little bit shimmery there. I'm going to go ahead and switch FSR off. And, uh, yeah, I, I do feel like the beard is a little bit sharper at the native resolution. But look at that frame rate difference for that change. We're down to 30 FPS again with the native image. So that, yeah, that is quite a, a huge difference. So let's go ahead and try out the performance setting, which at 1440p I don't think is going to look great, but let's see what our frame rate does. Wow, we're, we're near 60 FPS now. I mean, keep in mind, compared to being at 30 FPS, we're, we're looking at almost doubling the performance in this situation. Now, did this turn on V-Sync without my permission? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it did. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off since we're actually approaching 60 FPS, uh, just to make sure we don't actually uh, get worse performance than we need to. Yeah, look at that. We are actually bumping over the 60 FPS mark with the uh, performance setting here. Man, I mean, I can tell the performance setting isn't the native image quality. If you look around Atreus at those bushes and things, um, I can go ahead and switch back to uh, the native image quality. Uh, but, like, yeah, th the bushes and trees and things do look sharper. It looks more detailed. Native looks a lot better. But 34 FPS at 1440p, and then that massive jump all the way up to mid 50s. I mean, that's absolutely huge. It definitely doesn't look quite as good as native down here at the performance settings, but I think that that is actually incredibly Im impressive. Now, um, I'm also curious what happens if we um, go ahead and go down to ultra performance. I think it's gonna look quite bad. Like, we can see in the menus here that he already looks quite fuzzy. Look at Atreus and <laughs> especially, like, the, the fur textures and things. 
Yeah, the the water and everything. Yeah, it, it's it, it's not great. So I, I don't think ultra performance is going to even be worth playing around with here. But the performance setting, while not perfect, is certainly boosting performance quite significantly. So let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit, get through some other scenes. I'm curious how close to 60 FPS we're going to be able to uh, remain here. Should I skip this? <laughs> Get moving down down the river. Father? Yeah, in motion, as Kratos' like, head passes over Atreus, you can see a little bit of, I don't know, blurriness or something going on with the uh, upscaling. It's, it's not horrible, though. The performance difference here is just absolutely night and day, so... I'm not going to complain too much. Again, the performance setting is really something you're going to use if you absolutely have to, like I do if I'm trying to use a GTX 1060 at uh, 1440p. Yeah, I am overall quite impressed with this. Now, it's not like we're locking 60 FPS or anything like that, but um, the next thing I'd like to do is try out going down to 1080p, uh, where this card also struggles. So I will uh, do that. All right, so here we are at, let's double check, but I think I've got it to 1080p, and currently it's at native. FSR 2.0 is turned off. Remember, NVIDIA doesn't allow us to try DLSS if we don't have the RTX cards. And we're at the original settings again. Uh, you can see that even at 1080p at the original settings, we absolutely do dip well below 60 FPS. We're down into the mid 40s at the moment. So hold that like mid 40s uh, in your mind. Let's kick on FSR 2.0 to the quality setting. I don't want to get too aggressive at 1080p here because, yeah, there is a little bit of softening to the image, but honestly, it doesn't look bad, and we are now over 60 FPS, at least in this scene. And remember, that was in the mid-40s. So that is actually a huge, huge change, especially for somebody playing on a 60 FPS monitor. Now, I'm noticing that the foliage behind him looks a bit shimmery. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that with the FSR 2.0 off. And, you know, honestly, it actually still looks slightly shimmery. I think it was a bit more shimmery with the FSR 2.0 enabled, but here's it with it off. And then we'll kick it back on to the quality setting. You know, his beard certainly looks a little less stable. Like, you can definitely tell at 1080p that you have an upscaling technique enabled, but it's, it's not atrocious. And it does seem to be getting us over that 60 FPS mark, which is what we're looking for, because I remember when I've uh, initially tested this game on the 1060 at launch, I could not get it to lock 60 FPS very easily. And using FSR 1.0 at 1080p honestly looks quite bad. I mean, you can use it in a pinch, but while I can tell there's upscaling happening here, it's not anywhere near as apparent. Um, you know, in motion, as like his hands move and things, I feel like there's a little bit of a trail if you look at the things behind his arm as, as they're revealed in motion. But again, we're in the mid 60s here. And with that turned off, I'm down around 51 FPS, turning it back on. And we're up into the 60s again. I mean, that is a remarkable frame rate increase. So, looks like we are still dipping a tad bit below 60 here. So it's not, looks like it's not gonna guarantee us a, a locked 60, but I think we're doing significantly better than playing at native with a minor but noticeable hit to image quality. Overall, this is impressive. I'm really happy that AMD's FSR 2.0 has brought us an upscaling technique 
for not just AMD GPUs, but doing what uh, NVIDIA won't. <laughs> so again, this is a good one to take a look at. So standing still here with the FSR uh, 2.0 at quality, we are locked to 60 FPS, and without it, we are down into the upper 40s. So again, that is a remarkable performance difference given the very, uh, you know, the noticeable but minor drop to image quality. Well, I was happy to see that we got significant performance gains from the GTX 1060 using FSR 2.0. And I think that at 1440p, the image quality trade-off is pretty reasonable, especially just going down to the quality setting. The more aggressive settings I wouldn't use on a better GPU, but if you're trying to use a GPU as old as the 1060 at 1440p, that's where some of those trade-offs going down to the balance setting or even the performance setting might make sense because otherwise, I mean, what are you gonna do? <laughs> they just have a bad frame rate. Whereas at 1080p, I, especially when I went through editing and did some side-by-sides, it was very apparent that it was not the native image, right? The, the FSR 2.0 quality setting at 1080p, we could see a lot of Kratos' beard having a little bit of shimmering instability, the vegetation and things like that very much were obviously upscaled. Now that being said, we did get a decent performance boost and I do think it looks better than FSR 1.0, although they took that out of this game so I couldn't, couldn't do a direct comparison of that. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm very glad that we have it. So in a pinch, if you need the frame rate, I think this is a solid way of getting it if you've already turned down the other graphic settings to the point where you wouldn't want to de decrease them any further. Overall, I'm excited about FSR 2.0 and the main thing we need to see is get it into more games. But I also do think it has room to grow in terms of just the image quality itself. So I'm hoping that as we have seen with DLSS where we got, you know, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, I'm hoping we start to see the same thing happen with FSR 2.0 uh, developing and increasing, especially what it looks like on the more aggressive settings. Um, but with that being said, very happy to uh, see what it could do for the 1060 in this game. And uh, should I test it out on some of my other GPUs? Let me know in the comments section. I hope you have an excellent day.